In this problem, we need to figure out the magnitude of velocity and acceleration when the arm rotates 30 degrees. Let's start off with the velocity. Since acceleration is given to us with respect to time, we need to relate velocity and acceleration using an equation. One should come to mind, which is acceleration is equal to dv over dt. We can write it as dv is equal to a dt. Now if we take the integral using the given acceleration equation, we can come up with an equation for velocity. So what will be the lower bounds for our integral? Well, velocity starts from zero and time also starts from zero. Let's solve it and we get an equation for velocity with respect to time. Since we need to figure out the velocity, we can't really do anything with the equation we found without a time value. So the next step is to find out how long it took for the arm to go from zero degrees to 30 degrees. For that, we will need to come up with another equation. This time, we will relate distance and time. Before we do that, let's calculate how much distance is covered when the arm spins 30 degrees. How can we do that? Let's assume there's a circle. We section off the circle with 30 degree slices. So that means we need 12 pieces. Now we know the radius is five meters. Circumference of a circle is two pi r. Now if we calculate the circumference of the circle, and divided by 12, we will get how much distance is covered when the arm spins 30 degrees. Let's do that. So we have 2 pi multiplied by 5, all divided by 12. We get 2.618 meters. So remember, that means when the arm spins 30 degrees, the distance it travels is 2.618 meters. Now back to an equation relating distance and velocity. We know velocity is ds over dt. We can write it as ds is equal to v dt. Let's do another integral using the velocity equation we found earlier. The lower bounds for this integral are the following. The distance starts at 0 meters and goes to 2.618 meters. The time starts at 0 seconds. So our integral looks like this. Simplifying gives us this equation. Now we need to solve for time. You can graph this equation or plug it into your calculator or use any other method you want to figure out a time value. If there's an easy way to find the time using this equation, please comment below. We can finally figure out the velocity now that we have the time. So let's plug it into the velocity equation we found and solve. Solving gives us 3.68 meters per second. This is one of the answers the question is asking for. The other is to find the magnitude of acceleration. Let's first calculate the tangential acceleration. We can do that by using the acceleration given to us in the question. Plugging in the time value, gives us our tangential acceleration. Now for normal acceleration. Using our normal acceleration equation, we only need to plug in the values since we already found everything. We know the velocity and we know the radius. So solving gives us the normal acceleration. The magnitude can be found using this equation. Solving gives us our answer. Thank you for watching and if this helped, please give a thumbs up.